Hello everybody, I'm Joe, and this is Joe's MakerBot. I was working on a problem today, had the MakerBot indoors, probably going to be here till spring thaw. I was working on a problem and it finished a little bit uh, earlier than I expected, so I decided, since I'm here, since my MakerBot's here, since my laptop's here, it's time to update the firmware. Uh, Shellfish just uploaded a new version, so I'm going to up update my MakerBot. In point of fact, I've already updated it. I'm doing this again for your benefit. So here's how we do it. First of all, I've got the USB cable connected into the back of my MakerBot here, and I'm stringing it underneath my MakerBot, coming out the front, and connected into my laptop. Do not leave your, your uh, laptop plugged into your MakerBot all the time, because when you turn off your MakerBot, the USB will back power... Uh, your motherboard which could potentially damage you over time so when your MakerBot is off unplug that USB port not a problem for me usually because usually my MakerBot's out in the garage my laptop's down in the office uh, they very rarely are actually connected so now here's the steps that you follow if you have uh, another firmware that you're using you have to follow the instructions for changing that I'm not going to worry about it but if you're just updating to the latest MakerBot firmware, your menu will be a little bit different than mine is. So under Machine, click Upload New Firmware. Choose your board, which if you have a MakerBot, is a MakerBot Replicator Mighty Board. Next. Uh, choose the firmware to update. Again, your menu might be different if you're just updating to the latest. Choose the serial port. Make sure it's the same serial port that your bot was connected on. I forgot to tell you that step, but don't worry, it's not a big deal. Here's the big deal. Press the reset button in the target board and click the upload button to update the firmware. Try to press the reset button just before you click upload. Well, that's wrong. Actually, with Windows, you want to go the other way. You want to press the upload button just before you press the reset button. So here's the reset button. And I'm going to be using a pair of needle nose pliers to push the button. So close them, put them into the hole right sorry next to the usb there oh wow that's dark i apologize let's see if i can eke a bit more light out of this uh hold on one second i'd edit this out but that would take time and effort and neither of which i want to put into this how's this a little bit better okay reset button right next here if i push it now no big deal you'll hear the maker bot in a second wake up So it reset. You can also see, probably not so much on this panel, see that green light there? Watch it blink. Okay, it didn't blink so much. But when you are updating your firmware, that light should blink rapidly. So keeping an eye on that light will give you an idea if you're doing this right. Now, here we go. I am going to set my camera in this stand that I printed. Let's see. Can you see... Oh, can't see the maker bot. Let's bring it in. How's that? Okay, this is where the button is. And my mouse pointer is on upload, so here we go. Upload, reset. Light is blinking rapidly. We are getting data transfer right now. You see that blinking rapidly? Now your menu up front is going to just be on the main... You're not going to see any change here. That's because it's all happening back here. It's all thinking, but seeing that blink. Now, I nailed it on the first try. If you hit it and it doesn't work, your MakerBot wakes up and, and does the little you know tone to tell you that it just woke up, and then in a couple of minutes, this will pop up and say, you failed. Don't take it personal. Just hit OK and try again. Now, for me, it was button, then upload. It might be the other way for you. I know for Unix systems, it tends to be the other way. For Mac systems, it tends to be the other way. But for my Windows system, there we go. Firmware was updated successfully. That's the order to do it. It just updated, and if I go around... Actually, I'll go around real fast. Uh, really not coming through very clearly, but who cares? Reset. 
on the back. Wakey wakey. I'm pushing your reset button. There we go, new version of Selfish firmware. It's easy as that. Like I said, if you miss it, I've had to redo that those steps over and over. It took me seven or eight tries. I'm sorry it didn't fail for you guys this time. I actually I actually wanted to fail so that you guys would go, hey, everybody fails. Everybody fails. I'm sorry it worked so well for me this time. I promise I'll screw up for you guys next time. But that's it. There's Joe's MakerBot. All up updated in the firmware. So easy as that. Don't fear the firmware update. Do it. Keep your firmware up to date and you will be happy. Alright, it's Joe out.